to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me on a bit of an adventure. I'm in County Waterford at the moment and I've come to a place that I've seen a handful of photographs of over the years and it's a place that I said, you know what, someday I'll go visit. So I'm on my way east at the moment and I'm heading towards Hook Head and I said I'd take the opportunity to find this location. The one thing I was quite surprised with actually is that it's actually on a main road. There's quite a lot of traffic as well that's coming through here and there's one actually now that's passing me at the moment and what I found is that, you know, I thought that this place, by looking at the idyllic images that I would have seen in it, is that it was away from off the beaten track, but it's actually not. It's on a main road and there's a lot of traffic, like I said, that have coming through. There's a very interesting history as well in relation to this. And originally it was built from paper mache as a gift to the family that owned the house after they came back from their honeymoon. And they fell in love with it so much that they had it rebuilt. It's a f fascinating structure. It looks really, really out of place in Ireland because it's of Indian um, influence. And I, it's also, I believe, one of the only examples in Ireland of such a structure like this, which I think is called, or modeled on, a Brighton Palace. So yeah, we'll see how we get on today. We'll see what shots we can get. And we'll let's go on this journey. <music> first composition now I've placed you on the other side of the road here because the amount of cars that are coming by but I've come to the left hand side of the bridge and with this wall and vegetation that's here it's creating a nice arch and a leading line into the structure as well itself. Now there's a standard image which I probably will get which is bank smack in the centre of the road and a symmetrical image as well but challenge is, is that I'm during the day right now so the sun is directly above and that might be nice it also might be harsh because the light being harsh to be able to capture that shot but for the first one anyway here I've gone for a very very fast shutter speed now I have my polarizer on the front of my lens just to try and control the harshness like I say of that light but it's allowing me to be able to get a relatively fast shutter speed anyway and hold and handheld shot so by that in mind, I suppose really it's going to be a uh, pretty standard image, nothing, no major atmosphere or anything like that. But I do think the beauty of this alone should make for a nice shot. So I'll take this first shot anyway here and then I'll check back in. And once I go to the center of the road here, I'll wait for a gap that I can see in the cars and then I'll talk you through taking that shot also. <music> playing a game here and I've dodged the traffic and I do have a bit of a gap now at the moment so I've come out to the center of the bridge to kind of take like I said the one that's really shouting for me to take which is the railings coming either side and then looking straight down to this structure and I do think that it will be a very very nice photograph okay granted conditions aren't the greatest like I said earlier it's harsh light but nonetheless I do think um, I'll get a shot anyway from here so what I'm doing at the moment here is just playing around with different exposure times. I'm underexposing because of the sun and then I'm taking some standard exposures as well. But I do think, like I say, there'll be a nice shot in here from the standard traditional uh, image. I'm going to go to the right hand side of the bridge now. There's a bit of a gap in the wall that I can get down. So maybe I'll get something with the water and the bridge uh, coming over the height of the uh, frame. And uh, yeah, we'll check back in once I get down here. And I'll show you that shot next.
Now that I've come down to the bank, it actually has opened up a couple of different opportunities for compositions. Number one, I've got these leaves that are from the tree that I'm under at the moment, and they're nicely lit from the sun, like I say, which is up high. So I'm trying to utilize those to kind of frame uh, the structure. You've got this bridge as well that's in coming across, you can see from the left hand side out to the end of the structure here. And again, settings, I'm just varying, playing around with my polarizer as well to be able to compose the shot, but also deal with the harshness that's in the light as well at the moment. But it's a nice enough bridge. I think it would actually would be lovely here if we got some mist, because you might get mist off the river some morning, but right now anyway, I'm here and there is no mist. So I'm still going to be happy getting here, happy getting the shots anyway, at least. And also as well, what I might try and do is put on a uh, ND grad and do a longer exposure as well here to see what I can do and see what I can bring out. So yeah, I'll show you this shot now, then I'm gonna grab my filters and we'll put on for a longer exposure. I've come down low now, I'm low, relatively low anyway, to the bank. I've put on my polarizer and my equivalent to my 10 stop ND. I'm going for around about a 15 to a 20 second exposure. Don't know if it's going to be my preferred because there's a bit of uh, leaves that are over here. There's not much wind here today, but they are moving within that. So that might distract me from the end image and I might end up just going for the faster shutter speed, but definitely nice to come along anyway. Now I know that it's here, uh, it could be good, like I say, if there was a bit of mist here in the morning, I think it could be uh, some nice shots. So I'm going to finish up this episode. Thank you very much, as always, for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the discovery of this beautiful um, structure in the middle of nowhere, by the way. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schlong the fall.